bonus coverage right now. Looking out for Chris good. Johnston. Well, we heard coming into this event how much Gunnersville looks like a northern fishery. Well, if you look at that top 10 standings, uh, that has definitely <laughs> rang true so far in this tournament. I lost the little one and this one. Not that big. Another good keeper there, Chris Johnston. One of our northern anglers off to a great start there. Limit in the boat. Another look at that catch. So now for our B and W trailer hitches live on the line. Bonus coverage with Chris Johnston. Chris, uh, give us the rundown on your day so far today, and, and was it better than you expected? They got me mixed up with someone else. You talking to me? Yeah. <laughs> we think you're doing good. Are we wrong? I thought you're looking for another angler catching big ones. Um. No, I'm catching. I'm catching numbers right now, but uh, looking for a kicker, a lot of two and a half pounders. But uh, there's definitely some big ones here. Just haven't got one to bite yet, so I'm gonna keep going through these one to three pounders, and uh, hopefully get a four or a five pounder here. I want to throw some bigger baits, but I'm not getting bait on that, so having to finesse them. But one of these big ones got to eat it. Chris, is this a tournament where this time of year, obviously, you're fishing a lot more offshore than a, than a lot of other anglers are right now? Is this one of those tournaments where you feel like throughout the event there's more coming to you? A hundred percent. I think you can notice it even in practice. There was just kind of less and less fish I was seeing on the bank. and um, A guy that knows where they're going, I think, is going to do really well. If you can get, like, if I could get 15, 16, I'd love to spend two or three hours kind of out looking and trying to get one group of big ones. Another decent one. Yeah. I'd love to have time to go out and look for those five or six pounders that Gunnersville's known for on the ledges, but I didn't find them in practice. size not bad but we need that five or six pounder solid fish right there chris we we heard you make the comment that you want to throw bigger baits it, it is a lot of it besides obvious pressure chris is a lot of it just the lack of current on gunnersville this time around where you're having to finesse them yeah 100 percent lack of current and uh and yeah and they're just kind of suspended they're not really eating good and usually if you find a little group of them with a lack of current if you do catch one or two it uh it splits the school up on you so you can only catch a couple this spot i've been fortunate and lee's there too um that they're staying in one spot and keep casting in and catching them 
Chris, real fast, big congrats winning the uh, Sturgeon Bay Open last week. But the rumor Thanks, is what? you pretty much just manned the flogger and your brother got to catch them all. Is that true? <laughs> what? Uh-huh. Well, he's using an excuse uh, that he had a bad back. So I was doing the grunt work. I look at him through the flogger say, yep, that's a big one. Cast your line in there. Corey said got one. So I can't do it all. Did everything but reel it in for him, Zona. Tommy, the old bad back, you run the flogger. <laughs> <laughs> hey, whatever works. Chris, uh, we're insisting that you have a great day. You're having a great day, and we expect you to have an even better day. Thank you so much for.